Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, November 25th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anyone else for that matter over on the roster at DocSports.com. And it comes with the DocSports guarantee. It's all included. All you gotta do, get that free $60 $60 account. Click on the link below the video to get started. Real cool way to give it a trial run at DocSports.com. All right, listen, a real quick programming note before I jump into everything that happened over the weekend and what's coming up Monday and beyond. Uh, don't forget that our uh, plays for this week in football will be posted on Wednesday this week, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, rather than Thursday, obviously due to Thanksgiving Day football taking place. So Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, will be post time this week with college and pro football. Don't miss out. We are red hot. Uh, we swept Sunday 3-0 with my premium plays. 4-0 if you include the New York Giants play we had here on the free pick report. And uh, NFL just tearing it up. 83-54, and 61% with my last 137 NFL plays. Couple of pushes in there also, uh, but 61% over 140 plays. And, and it's just been one winner after another, winning season after another in the NFL. I uh, also wanted to mention that college football and NFL combined now, after going 5-1-1 one, and one Saturday and Sunday, going back five weeks, we are now 25-12. and 12. That's 68% against the spread. We're close to $4,500 ahead for those wagering just $100 per unit. Last couple of weeks alone, 10 wins, only two losses, one push, 10-2-1 with our premium picks, college football and the NFL. Don't miss out on this week's card. I do have seven-unit action uh, that will be going lines came out Sunday. We've already jumped into them. We're ready to go. We're just waiting for Wednesday post time, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. So don't miss out on the special post time this week. And really appreciate those of you who jumped on board. It was pretty easy on Sunday for the premium picks as we had our top play on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 35 to 22 outright underdog winner. Uh, we also had the San Francisco 49ers wrapping things up for us, the 3-0 day on Sunday night. Easy win for San Francisco over Green Bay and the New York Jets thumped the Oakland Raiders 34-3. Those were our three sides. And in fact, you can add another football winner to the mix over the weekend because we cashed our CFL Grey Cup six-unit play last night on Winnipeg. And they thrashed Hamilton, underdog Winnipeg, 33-12 outright win. Uh, we just had a great postseason and the CFL for the season is in the books. Yet another winning season in the CFL. 114-82 and is our run. Close to 58-59% is the record as we head into next season's CFL at DocSports.com. So just a tremendous run in the CFL this weekend, the last five weeks, college and pro football combined. And you know what we did? Last year, we were number one in college football in the NFL. And uh, we started off slowly this year, but the last five weeks have been clocking them. So jump on board this week on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. We'll have a full slate of games, college football in the NFL through the entire week. And that'll include a big seven-unit main event that you don't want to miss out on in this week's football action. All right, listen, as far as as everything else is concerned, NBA, we've got for you on Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. College basketball, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Got to tell you right now, I'm not seeing it in college basketball. We've been basically going one or two plays per day. Uh, we expect that to turn around and also have more plays per day. And we'll let you know when that happens when we start firing uh, with a few more plays. But right now, we're just not seeing it. Just got to tell you the way it is in college baskets. Football's been great. CFL was great. NBA's been good until the last couple of days. We had a half-point loser yesterday uh, on the Brooklyn Nets who won 103-101, laying two and a half. NHL's been fantastic. We'll be in NHL action on Monday. You can grab that play over at DocSports.com. Uh, just tearing it up in the NHL. I think we're now 47-26 and 26 is our October-November run on the ice. We won again yesterday. So that'll all be available on Monday. And I almost forgot to mention, we still got one game to go in this week's football. We've got the Monday night side between the Ravens and the Rams available right now over at DocSports.com. We look to finish off a perfect sweep 
in the NFL and look to go 6-1-1 one one for the week in college football and NFL combined. So red hot running football. Don't miss out on Monday. Don't miss out on Wednesday with that post time again. Special time 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday for next week's college and pro football action. All right, let's get to it. First of all, on Monday mornings, you know what we talked about. We like to give you uh, those first few line movements. A lot of sharp action takes place after those opening lines come out in college football. And uh, that's, of course, over at Circa. We've been talking about these all season long. This past week and the first time, they really didn't come through with flying colors uh, when you go against the line movement of two or more. But here's the situation. Thursday, Ole Miss and Mississippi State, the renewal of the Egg Bowl. Ole Miss opened one. Mississippi State's now the three-point favorite. So if you've been following, and again, I don't recommend laying blind on anything uh, as far as sports betting is concerned or anything else. And uh, But if you were to bet these blind, you've been having a terrific season going towards the team where the line opened and away from the line movement of two or more points. So again, Ole Miss opens one on the road to Miss State. Miss State now a three-point favorite. Uh, Friday action, plenty of Friday college football going on. Kent State at Eastern Michigan. We had a nice play on Kent State this weekend, and they won for us. Eastern Michigan opened three. They are now up to five and a half. Iowa at Nebraska. Iowa opened three. They've been bet up to five. Uh, you've got Cincinnati at Memphis. Memphis opened 12. That number down to 9.5. Everybody jumping on Cincinnati. The Bearcats uh, so far off this opening number on Sunday. By the way, as far as Nebraska is concerned, hosted Iowa after the big win over Maryland on the weekend. Uh, Nebraska still has a chance to make a bowl game. they got to win this game against Iowa, though. We'll see if they can uh, put two wins together in a row. Hasn't happened too much for the Nebraska Cornhuskers over the past few years. Saturday action. You've got Coastal Carolina hosting Texas State. Coastal opened six and a half. That number up to eight and a half. Now, I'll say this, man. Texas State was... Well, they had higher aspirations before the season began. Let's just put it that way. And uh, they have struggled a little bit more than people thought uh, throughout the course of the season. Iowa State opened five at Kansas State. Kansas State's getting the money. Iowa State has been bet down to three. Uh, Wisconsin at Minnesota. Interesting game in the Big Ten West where Wisconsin opened four. They are now a two-point favorite on the road to the Gophers. Mountain West Conference action, both of these teams had their dreams of a potential bowl season shot right out from under them, and that's Fresno State at San Jose State. One of the bigger moves this weekend so far, San Jose State opened two. Fresno State now a two-and-a-half point road favorite, four-and-a-half point swing there. Uh, other Big Ten action, Indiana opened four-and-a-half at Purdue. Uh, the Hoosiers are now up to seven from four-and-a-half. Uh, Big Ten action still, Maryland at Michigan State, biggest move of the weekend thus far with the opening lines and where they sit now on Sunday night, Monday morning from the Circa. Circa opened Michigan State 17 and a half at home to Maryland, that number all the way up to 23. And then in the Big 12, you got Oklahoma at Oklahoma State where the Sooners opened a 14 and a half point road favorite in Stillwater. That one has been bet down to 11 and a half as the early action came in on the Oklahoma State Cowboys. So again, just want to give you those circa opening numbers and where they are at this particular point and uh, again they've been working well all season long we have been playing a lot of these we, we don't play anything blindly uh, but we look at them a little bit and we'll use it you know maybe to handicap our stuff with and then look at those lines and see where they move but as you saw this past weekend we weren't involved in those games at all and uh, had a pretty good weekend like I said uh, just sweeping Sunday winning on Saturday and then of course we got the Monday night game to go the Ravens at the Rams don't miss out I've got the side uh, to catch off my entire week package in college and pro football over at DocSports.com. NBA, NHL at 1 p.m. Eastern time. College basketball, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Those are the post times on Monday. The football game, Monday Night Football, available right now. You can go grab that as we speak. All right, well, that's going to do it for us. Oh, wait, I almost forgot to give you the free pick. Holy cow. Uh, Monday Night NBA action. We've got the Lakers at the Spurs. Now, these teams played to a total of 199 points when they met just a couple of weeks ago. And I know that's what Greg Popovich wants his team to focus on, and which is a better brand of defense because, you know, before that, but especially after that, San Antonio just stopped playing defense, especially in the second half of the games. They have slow starts, opening few minutes of the first quarter, but then in the second half, they just weren't hanging around on the defensive end. Now, they came through the other night against the New York Knicks. We'll see if they can do it now back home against a team at the level of the Lakers. But the cool thing is, if you like the under here, which is sitting at 223, 
as I cut this video, is that you do have a Laker team that is playing a, a very high level brand of defense. In fact, they're second in the NBA in defensive efficiency. Uh, there's only two teams right now that have a below 100 NBA defensive efficiency mark, and that is the Lakers, of course, as I just mentioned, and also the Utah Jazz, who are just a shade, about a tenth of a point efficiency-wise better uh, than the LA Lakers. But uh, I expect to see a slower tempo. The Lakers don't need to win 130 to 120. They're perfectly happy winning uh, by margins uh, that are big, but at the same time, keep their opponents uh, below triple, not triple digits when they can. And again, we saw 199 points the first time these two teams met. I think we're going to see a game that finishes under 223. So my free pick for Monday here on the video, under 223 between the Lakers and the Spurs. All right, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll talk to you then.